Hi guys, I just want to take a few minutes and share with you my story, um, particularly my story about how, uh, how I came into a relationship with God. Uh, as a kid, I used to worry a ton about what would happen to me if I were to die. I'm not sure why I thought about this as much as I did, um, particularly around the ages uh, between eight and nine years old. Um, but I did. I, I thought about it. I worried about it. And growing up in a, in a church environment, um, I, re, I was familiar with God. I was familiar with heaven and, and just wanted to be sure if there was a possibility to be sure that I would be there if something were to happen to me. And so um, during that time, as these things, I was thinking about these things, uh, the church that I grew up in invited a speaker to come and uh, to share some stories from the Bible. And it was more focused on um, the adults that were, were there in our church, but I remember really being, uh, really keenly listening uh, to the stories, particularly one that, that he shared about the life of Daniel, and the character of Daniel. And I remember the, thing, the two things that stuck out to me about Daniel was one, that Daniel was uh, devoted to God, and two, that God had that he had this close, intimate relationship with God as a result of, uh, of just being with him. And I re remember thinking, I want to live my life like, like Daniel. I want to be that kind of a person. And so at the end of this time, uh, this, this, these messages, the speaker invited anyone that was interested in hearing more about having a relationship with God to, to come forward. And so I did, and that later that next week, um, I found myself at, uh, going out for ice cream with the pastor of my church and talking more about what does it mean to have a relationship with God. And I remember we talked about just the idea that God loves us, that he created us. We talked about the idea of sin and that each of us has this experience of falling short of what God expects of us in life. And then we talked about how Jesus was God's solution uh, to our problem of sin, our condition of sin, and that by Jesus' death on the cross, uh, he offered his life, his perfect and sinless life, in exchange for my sin-filled life. And I remember agreeing with my pastor through all of these, these points and thinking, yeah, these are things that I've heard from my childhood as a kid, and I had agreed with those things. And he said, well, there's actually one more point that we wanted to talk through, and, and that was just about us individually responding uh, to what God has done and what God did through Jesus. And as I listened to this idea of, like, what is my response to what God has done, it kind of hit me that I wasn't sure if I had ever really responded to what God has done through Jesus on the cross. And so uh, I shared that with him, and, and we talked about that a little bit more. And he said, you know what, Aaron? Uh, I don't know your heart. Only God knows your heart. But if, you, if that is the desire of your heart today, why don't we just pray today? And, and maybe this day will be uh, a memorable one for you, um, one that you can look back to uh, to say, yeah, I have responded to what God has done, and I have received his gift of forgiveness through Jesus on the cross. And so we did just that. I said a very simple prayer. Uh, Jesus, thank you for your death for me. Um, I believe that you died to forgive my sins, to make me clean um, before God, to make me able to have a relationship with you. Um, would you lead me in my life to help me become the person that you want me to be? And from that day forward, that has really been a milestone in my life. That's been something I've continued to look back to. Um, to reflect on what God has done and the fact that, that yes, I, I continue to say yes today um, to what Jesus has done. And so um, it's been a game changer. It's really uh, freed me from many, many of the worries that I had about what happens to me after death. And um, so that's my story. Thanks for listening, and I hope that um, maybe some part of my story can encourage you in yours. Thank <laughs> you.